The story begins in a little girl's room, not friendly and fun, but dark as a tomb. Wind rattles the windows as the floorboards creak, and out of her bed the girl starts to creep. Tiptoeing with stealth, she senses another. With panic rising, she runs to see mother. At the creak of a door, her mother opens her eyes, rolls over in bed, and lets out a sigh. I know it's late and I should be in bed. I remember the rules and I know what you've said. But I cannot sleep, I cannot rest. Lise the rabbit is here and he's being a pest. Lise the bunny's not here, it's all in your head. It's already late, now go back to bed. Stood in the doorway, rubbing her eye. The Easter Bunny is eating my candy, she said with a cry. The mother sat up in bed, ready to explain that there isn't a bunny, she won't hear it again. Now go back to sleep and please try your best, for you are the one who is being a pest. The little girl knew what she had been taught, but took a deep breath and let loose a retort. The rabbit is here and he's big and he's mean, he's eating my candy trying not to be seen. With a nod of her head and a tear in her eye, the girl walked away as she mumbled goodbye. All alone in the night and without any help, the girl started walking but stifled a yelp. At the end of the hall the bunny stood looming, evil and hunched and in much need of grooming. As she slowly drew closer, the eating ceased, for the rabbit had finished his terrible feast. He leant back his head and with a great big grin, reached into his mouth to show her his sin. The bunny stood still and all full of pride, still clutching the gore of the leftover hide. The girl stood defeated, scared and beaten. The nightmare came true, her candy all eaten.